this is what I want. Dreadlord is what we all want to see, of course. <clears throat> Longest game you've ever seen. Excuse me, Immortal wants to have a word with you. That's that's the um, NA lol. For the Back to Warcraft Weekly, I don't think he plays, does he? Now, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, <laughs> how do I say this? How do I say this? don't want to, uh, toot my own horn or anything here, but if you saw my games on this channel when I played Cast for Fountain of Manor League, um, that's how you should play against Dreadlord. I mean, yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. In this case, I'm right about the way to counter Dreadlord. <clears throat> Raider Walker, TC, Creep 3, Counter Expand, Break the Expansion. That's a good way, I would argue, the best way to play against Dreadlord. We'll see if Lucker goes for that. Because if you try to go tier 3 counter expand and play the Shredder and everything, you end up just getting kind of lame to death. You need to do damage early to the Dreadlord, or else it feels like they just play hit and run with mass ghouls and carry and swarm harass, and you just kind of get owned. Everyone's back compared to Carson's last pair. That is true, Moonstruck. That is true. I don't remember what you're what I said that you're responding to, but <laughs> Dreadlord is very, very low, but the Nerubian is gonna get up. Is that enough? Walker's almost here too. He did lame the 1450 MMR elf. That literally was the standard way to play against Demon Hunter back in the day. <clears throat> that's how you that's how you beat Demon Hunter. Last like a year ago. That's how you'd beat it. That's how I beat every oh my god, that's how I beat every night elf back then, regardless of MMR. And the fact that that guy almost beat me shows why you do that strat. <clears throat> To Dreadlord. Ooh, Shadow Hunter. Now the Torn Totem is pretty standard. Is he gonna go tier three? See, oftentimes players like myself or Locker, or maybe even Soen, players that tend to copy Hitman's reaction to Cryplord, which is this, by the way. Um we all know how Hitman plays against Cryplord, or at least used to with Blade Master. They tend to do it against Dreadlord as well. They assume fast expo is fast expo. But no, there's a different way, in my opinion, to play against Dreadlord as opposed to Cryptlord. Nero! What's up, dude? Thanks for the 46 months. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Appreciate you, man. You had almost two four-year subs today. Two months off. <laughs> Deletes draft balance suggestions. <laughs> I mean, you can post them, Pete, okay? If you want to post them, post them. All I'm saying is a majority should be stuff that I actually want to click on. Redlord's going to be level 3 in the expansion, albeit late, will be up. But now we're going to have Carrion Swarm level 2, and we're going to see a lot of dead peons this game. We're going to see a whole lot of dead peons. The counter expansion is going to be fast. And this is going to be a very early shredder, so everything's working well for Locker. I mean, if he was counting our Crypt Lord, I would say this is all perfect. Absolutely. But since he's countering a Dreadlord, I just have a bad feeling about it. He's really gonna creep a red. He's really gonna creep a red. Alrighty. And scout and scouts for Cass. There's the Shredder. <clears throat> and then we'll have an immediate Tiny Great Hall at tier 3. And then the army composition can change depending on what Cass is doing. For Lucker. Did he miss the surround? I think he did. Yeah, don't pull it with a sleep this time. There we go. 
and Lucker. Tier 3 will be done in 5 seconds. And then after that, he can go creep his expo. Maybe sell the Wand of the Wind. It might be the right play. I mean, it's helpful. But I think gold is more necessary right now. He needs the 600 for the Tiny Great Hall. And Cass spent a lot of time on this red camp. A lot of time. And he's kind of rewarded. I mean, that's an item that he's going to keep for the whole game on the Dreadlord. He sold every other item. Every other item, he'd probably keep that uh, medallion. It's very, very good. Ooh, Locker actually. Again, this isn't something that's that bad, but this is all about timing. The immediate tier 3 tech into immediate counter expansion is pretty necessary. Like, it, you'll find if your counter expansion is like 30, 40 seconds late, you don't have the necessary supply to defend the undeads all in. But, I mean, getting the shop is tantalizing. I'll give you that. Lucker certainly has to go counter expand right now. Got to go by the tiny great hall. He also needs a war mill, reinforced defenses, and two B series, an orb, and a torn chieftain. So just imagine all the things he needs. That's why you need to counter expand ASAP because behind this, yes, although his tech is quite late, he's going to be massing units soon. I would like to see. I don't know what I'd like to see out of Cass. A lot of the times you see gargs, don't you? You see mass air with the dreadlord. But you can still go double crypt fiends with a temple and a and a uh, slaughterhouse. All right, there's a tiny great hall. But Cass doesn't tend to go standard armies. He tends to go very harass heavy. Giant mode gives his opponent a lot of space that they wouldn't otherwise have, because if not, you're constantly preparing for the all in. As the orc player, but if you're being harassed, just say, okay, I just defend, 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 defend. And then eventually, orc is always stronger than undead in the late game. Orc just has better heroes, and sometimes they have better units if they can get a tier 3 army. TC, Beastiary, Wormail on the way, and Cass about to be tier 2. But he still has no second crypts. So I don't know what he's going for. Is he gonna go for Necro Wagon? He's going to be up against Master Spirit Walkers if he goes for Necro Wagon, so maybe not the best choice in this pot. This is what I mean by not going TC Raider Walker. You open yourself up to these sorts of plays, and he's and you can't save your peons against this. You can force a TP, but you're going to lose every peon. Not going for it. X, not quite a surround, but at least he's blocking the item from being stolen. You see, we see Cass is trying to. He might be able to kill the shadow on her. Wait a second. Whoa. No, there's heal wave level two. Honestly, this is a huge missed opportunity for Cass. He should have just killed all the peons. Like, killing all the peons at this timing, killing all five peons. No, Lucker's only got two back at home. And he needs those two to build beast areas, to build burrows, etc. So he literally needs to rebuild all five peons at this Great Hall if he loses them. Which gives Cass all the opportunity in the world to get up to 70 supply and then push. Because building five peons not only costs a lot of gold, but it takes two and a half minutes. How long does a peon take? 25 seconds? 30 seconds? I'm not sure. <laughs> So that was a huge missed opportunity, obviously. Even if he got the last hit with the Carrion Swarm, which he didn't, right? Don't believe he did. No, he didn't. He would have been higher experience. Um, it still would have been worse than getting all five peons there. So that's a big missed opportunity. And now the map control is completely in Lucker's favor. Although he doesn't have an orb yet. And it is Necro Wagon. Literally one temple to damn. What is this macro? Where are the units at? Where are at least the production buildings at? Nowhere to be seen. A 
this start of many, many carrion swarms. Oh my god. Item got stolen. Gloves of haste, I believe, there. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> there is double heal scroll. And a greater mana, so... Walkers should be able to fight here. Also, the walkers are master trained, so even if they die... Like that. Oh, we've got to revive. Got to revive before this one dies. Hit that C button. <clears throat> Excuse me. And double... Okay, that's what he was <laughs> waiting for. All right. Triple Boneyard. Oh, my God. You might ask yourself, isn't there just an elegant, easy, simple counter to Triple Boneyard? And I wish I could say yes. But there kind of isn't. Especially if there's armor upgrades, which there isn't yet. But I wouldn't be surprised to see double armor upgrades very, very soon. Honestly, the counter to just a lot of frost rooms is just really good heroes and just spamming units that aren't necessarily great but are good enough. Oh, nice stomp. Omega lol. Yeah, build time is 15. Okay, 15 seconds. All right, so not actually that long, but still nearly a minute and a half. Frenzy Worms Baron knows the most toxic playstyle very, very well. <laughs> and Lucker, like against Cass, you need to be consistently wind walking and checking his base, or at least revealing his base. Like, just build a war uh, burrow up here or a war mill, and just, you know, every minute and a half, two minutes, reveal his base. Because not only does he do weird strats, he also does tech transitions all the time. Wind walk's about to run out, by the way. But okay, see, so okay, what's the reaction? Bat riders? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Where's the burrow at, though? Is he building a burrow? Okay, he is now. And he should be able to defend these ghouls quite easily. Okay, Lucker's gonna spam bats. Armor upgrades. Where are the armor upgrades? Where are they at? By the way, Dice is in a quarterfinal. Happy's also in the quarterfinal, able to defeat Scott. Cool to see Scott sign up. Unfortunate that he got placed with Happy so early, or else we would have watched some more of his games, but it is what it is. Level 3 Torn Chieftain. We got three worms out. <laughs> wow, that's actually all the, that's all the gold. There goes all the gold. 90. Did he really do the math here? Is this a... This is just a good old-fashioned six-worm timing, everybody. <laughs> How many bat riders do we need for six worms? I think it's about... Okay, he's got one armor upgrade. It should be three bats per, right? So we should need 18 bats, which isn't that crazy off two beasts. Like, he's already going to have a third of that soon. It's a matter of them all connecting and not getting carrion swarmed over and over. Here's a... This is the timing. He's not going to wait for the extra three worms. Locker. Under a lot of pressure. He doesn't want to lose his beast area just yet. There's also a protection scroll, so make that four bats, I believe, actually. So he's got enough to kill pretty much one and a half frost worms right now if he gets the AoE. Both beast series died though. That is actually kind of a nightmare for Lucker. He's got to rebuild both ASAP and start building. Yeah, he's going to start building head hunters. Where's Lich? Yeah, frost armor could be a really nice addition to this army. Six worms and not many bats. If the bats connect on all the worms in a clump, there's a chance. But if they're split and the bats don't connect perfectly, this is going to be good. The bat riders should connect pretty well. Two should two should go down. Oh, he's got to explode this one. And he's got to hex another one. 
the sa same way you play against mass griffins or clairs, you need to you need to just hex off cooldown. Spend all your mana on hex. There's one hex. Because you can hex about half the army. And actually, Locker's heroes, they're going to carry him here. Locker's going to lose a bunch, but he should be all right here. He's got to be heal, heal waving, though. There we go. PC might be falling. And um, here we're seeing why you don't go three Boneyard Frostworms, everybody. <clears throat> that didn't even take that many Bat Riders. And now we're going to see a tech switch from Cass. I don't think he can go worms in The amount of experience that Lucker just got from those worms. <laughs> he was so confident he built a Tauren. Uh, he's, is there a walker here to revive? I don't notice a walker corpse. You tend to have three walkers with this strat, but I think maybe two has been working for, for Lucker. He's going worms again. Uh oh. There's a second armor Player upgrade now too. And we're just going for mass worms yet one more time. I don't know if this is going to work, but hey, maybe. Was the greater mana used? No, he still has that greater mana. But Lucker doesn't have two heal scrolls anymore. He doesn't have a ton of bat riders anymore. But shocked her master training. I mean, that, that's fine. I mean, you have a level 5 Shadow Hunter. You don't really need Witch Doctors, but just spam clarities. But I suppose if it works, it works. And Dreadlord, not that close level 6. Not close at all. And summons one Boneyard. 80 Supply Worms. There's no third armor upgrade yet, but there's no Bat Riders, so... Doesn't really matter. Is this army good enough for Lucker now? Yeah, it's going to be good enough. He's getting four Bat Riders as well. I don't see Lucker... I mean, I don't see Lucker taking much damage here. We'll see, though. We'll see. There's only one heal scroll. One potion of invulnerability. For cast, there's only one shot and one opportunity. Action scroll. Holy frenzy. Here he goes. This is it. It's got to work now or else the heroes are going to be way too strong for Lucker. Not that they aren't already, but... Here we go. There's one Bat Rider in the base, that's not going to be the end of the world. Spirit Link. Bat Riders can connect. Dispel on the Protection Scroll doesn't actually, but look how much damage the Worms take. Like, there's so many Berserkers here. And the Heal Ward as well. Wait a second, let him cook though, let him cook. Locker's starting to lose some stuff. Supply is <clears throat> close to even, excuse me. But all the worms are about to die. One worm goes down, another one hexed, another one dies to the blade in the back. And if there was about six more carrion swarms, maybe Cass could clean up this army, but he's currently at 45 supply. Hey, he can kill a Tauren, though. And these hero levels for the orc are officially out of control. Hey, Todd, thanks for the raid. What's up, dude? How'd your stream? You streamed for a while, didn't you? Were you streaming from last night? Jesus Louises. Or did you stream twice? Maybe you streamed twice. Yeah, this is, uh... He's continuing to build frost worms, everybody. He's continuing to build frost worms. But it ain't gonna work. Oh my god, that carrying swarm. Is the Dreadlord closer to level 6? He literally only got to 5.4 off that push. What's up, Kaiser? He got to 5.4. From level 5, pretty much dead on. And these orc heroes are going to be 666 soon. He's continuing to build worms. Hey, when, when all else fails, build 6 more worms and push again. 
Not as though he didn't get unit kills. I mean, imagine if there was too many headhunters, and then the Dreadlord gets level 6, and then he uses the Infernal, and then he kills the whole army with just one hero. That is a possibility, but you're going to need one more good fight if you cast to make that work. And Lucker's re-expanding Tiny Great Hall on the high ground. Oh, now he's going to double slaughterhouse, but he waited until his main base was gone. Was the cloud icon on top of the worms mean? That is unholy frenzy. It increases their attack speed, but they take a little bit of damage over time. And remembering the winner of this will play HLA, and the winner of that is going to be playing Narbu. So maybe we just follow. I mean, I do want to see star shaped, but the winner of this against Narbu, or the winner of this against uh, HLA, and the winner of that against Narbu seems like a pretty good, pretty good day. The player's forces are under attack. An acolyte trying to scout. Is there heal scrolls? There's one heal scroll. Creator mana was finally used, by the way. 5-5 five, five Orc heroes are just so insane, though. HLA real? Yes, it is a real one. Seventy-two against 55. <clears throat> Why is he building a Tauren, by the way? I don't know. That's a good way to feed the Dreadlord to level 6, that's for sure. Yeah, we can see the worms taking a little bit of damage over time. What, two damage per second is that? We have increased attack speed. And what do we have? Eight bombs? We have disease cloud. No, we don't. We're oh, we're getting it now. So Cass is just hoping for one good fight, get level six Dreadlord, and win off of that. He could get level 6 Dreadlord if he kills, like... Say he kills all these units, that would be level 6 Dreadlord. That's the amount around he has to kill. Assuming the DK is also getting experience with him. And there is, what, two heal scrolls. That is enough for Lucker. This is near impossible. For Cass, it would take it would take a throw from Locker. A lot of acolytes coming in as well. Cass should wait for these two A-bombs. I mean You need to wait for everything here. He's out of gold entirely. Unsummon the entire expansion. Locker with thirteen hundred as natural. If he loses the fight here, it may be down to zero base, zero base. Oh, acolytes just really want to feed these heroes to level six. What is he? Oh, he's trying to kill the wards, I guess, with them? Or force the wards? Bat Riders. Not connecting. Two Kodos come in, which is going to be able to eat two Abominations level 4 in the Death Knight. Keeping an eye on the experience of the Dreadlord, everybody. First Heal Scroll use. First Abomination devoured. Actually, two A-bombs devoured. Blade gets level 6. Could see a Blade Storm. But honestly, he might just do more damage. Oh, there's sleep to counter the big bad voodoo. He might just do more damage right clicking as opposed to using Blade Storm. Dreadlord, can he get coiled? Will get coiled, just barely though, but the blade is one attack away, one crit away from killing this, and GG well played is called, and Lucker will be one to move on to play HLA, everybody. A nice game. A nice game indeed. Last time they played Cast 1, this time. Locker wins. Incredible.